Um, sorry about that. Hey guys, I'm just editing this now and realized something went wrong with the audio, so there is no audio for a part of this, which is kind of upsetting because uh, there's some cool stuff that happens uh, with the prayer, and it's, uh, it sounds really beautiful, and I'm kind of upset a little bit that I wasn't able to get the audio from that, but uh, I hope you enjoy this video because uh, it's very special and it Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, just again, sorry about the audio and some part of this. Um, there's nothing I can do now about it. I tried and I can't. But uh, yeah, thank you for understanding and enjoy. So, the tattoo I'm getting is a Sakyant tattoo. Sakyant are magical Buddhist tattoos, either done by a monk or a Ajar, I think that's how you pronounce it, and who is doing my tattoo is a Najar. Ajars are either former monks that still practice Sakyant or practitioners of Sakyant that have learned from a master, there is his master. Sakyant I'm getting is nine peaks, which symbolizes the mountain of the gods and inside that mountain are squares with spells spells of protection against black black magic or evil spirits spells to protect the wearer provide the wearer with knowledge and wisdom and provide the wearer with uh, protection against grave harm or injury. Sakyants have rules to them to keep their magical abilities intact. Some of the rules include don't kill, don't steal, don't be adulterous, don't lie, do not speak ill of your mother. <laughs> not commune with evil deities. Sakyants are very important to the practitioners and people who believe in them. I find Buddhism very interesting and wanted to experience a, a, a Buddhist tradition. So I decided to get this Sakyant. They are more painful than regular tattoos. And what he is using is called a bamboo tattoo, but they, instead of bamboo, they started using metal. And here is him blessing the tattoo to make sure and to finish the ceremony of the Saka. That was an amazing experience, and the tattoo itself was 2,000 baht, and then the, the antiseptic cream, like the aftercare cream, 200 baht, and then I donated 300 baht to a school that they support, that that tattoo shop supports, to keep tattooing in that style alive. So in total, I paid 2,500 baht. I got me a great tattoo aftercare, and I, I donated to a school, so that's not bad. That's not a bad thing to donate to a school. So yeah, I'm gonna. Go back to the hostel, rest for a little while, and then head back out because it is, it is hot. Thank you.
I have no idea what that temple's name is. I'll put that down below. A very beautiful and peaceful place that I went to the other day. Just wanted to share with you guys a couple, a couple sites of it. I'm not sure what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I think I'm going to go back to the hostel and edit and catch up on all that because I keep saying I'm going to catch up on all that. And then, yeah, I just procrastinating a lot lately. And from earlier today, I just want to recoup. I changed my shirt because my shirt, so I swept through my shirt, my last shirt, my other purple shirt. This is a very beautiful, peaceful place. Like you get inside and it changes. The sound is even different, which is amazing. It goes from very hustle and bustle out here and just on the road in Chiang Mai to a very peaceful, quiet, quiet place inside the walls of this, this temple. I think I'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.